What's up, you friggin' geniuses? So, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve integer inequalities, okay? And in case you need a refresher on inequalities, so specifically these two up here, greater than and less than signs, I'll link a video to that in the card above. But if you're good, let's just jump into these examples, okay? So, as you can see, I drew a number line here because it's gonna be really useful for going over these examples, okay? So, a basic concept that you need to make sure that you understand about the number line is when we move in this direction to the right, numbers are getting bigger, okay? It does not matter where you are on the number line. When you move to the right, numbers are getting bigger, period. Okay, and the same theory applies when we move to the left on the number line, okay? When we move to the left, numbers are always getting smaller, Okay, that's true regardless of where you are on the number line. Okay, so with that in mind, let's jump into some of these inequality examples. Okay, so let's start right here with this first one. So, I have 7 and 3, right? So I have 7 and 3. Which number is bigger? Well, 7 is obviously bigger than 3, right? And how do we know that? Because it is further to the right on the number line. So that's how we know 7 is bigger than 3, okay? So which sign up here am I going to use? Am I going to use a greater than symbol or a less than symbol? Well, a little trick I always like to use is I just draw teeth on these because they look like little mouths to me. Okay, we'll just draw some little teeth. Okay, so these mouths up here, they're hungry mouths, okay? And they want to eat the bigger number. So if we're looking at 7 and 3 right here, which one is bigger? 7, right? So we're going to eat the bigger number. And then how would you read your answer? Well, you would say 7 is greater than, right, greater than 3. Okay, let's try a few more. So this next one, we're going to compare 0 and 2. So let's locate those on the number line. So I have a 0 here and I have a 2 here. Which one is bigger? Well, 2 is bigger, right, because it's further to the right on the number line. Okay, so let's look at this inequality. I want to eat the bigger number, right? So I'm going to make my mouth face this way again, right? And again, I could even draw little teeth on there just to remind myself. Okay, so how would you read this answer? You would say 0 is less than, right? Less than 2. Okay, so I think that's pretty straightforward. So now let's do some examples with negative numbers. Okay, so let's do this one up here. So now we're going to compare the numbers 0 and negative 2. Okay, so which number is bigger? 0 or negative 2? Well, 0 is bigger, right? Because it is further to the right on the number line. So let's go back to this inequality. And remember, I want to eat the bigger number. So I'm going to make my mouth face this way, right? Because 0 is bigger than negative 2. And then how would you read your answer? You would just say 0 is greater than, right? Greater than negative 2. Okay, now let's try this problem right here. So the numbers we're going to compare are negative 2 and negative 5. So let's locate those on the number line. So I have negative 2 right here, and I have negative 5 right here. So which number is bigger? Well, it would be negative 2, because it is further to the right on the number line. So for my inequality, if I want to eat the bigger number, I would eat negative 2. Okay, and how would you read your answer? You would say negative 2 is greater than, greater than negative 5. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, so for this last example right here, I'm comparing the numbers negative 100 and 1. Okay, so let's locate these on the number line. Where is negative 100? Well, I didn't draw my number line that far, but it would have to keep going this way, right? So if I listed a bunch more negative numbers, I would have eventually gotten to negative 100, right? So we'll say negative 100 is right there, okay? And then the other number we need to locate is the number 1, and the number 1 is right there, okay? So which number is bigger? Well, it would be 1, right? Because it is further to the right on the number line. Okay, so 1 is the bigger number here, right? So we want to eat the bigger number. And lastly, how would you read your answer? You would just say negative 100 is 
less than, right? Less than one. All right, guys, so that's all there is to it. I hope the video and examples were helpful. If they were, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still got any other questions or want to see any other examples, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if you need help with any other topics, definitely check those out and I'll see you there.